Hey everyone, this is Ben. In this video, I'll show you how to create a PHP library for Laravel or any PHP project using Composer and publish it on packages.org. Alright, here we are at this path. It's an empty folder. I want to create my library here. First, open VS Code here. Alright, let's create our library here. Open a new terminal. All right. And here, run composer in it. All right. First, we need a name for our package. Package name should be like this: vendor slash a name. Hit the enter to use this as the name, or enter a name here. I enter benixl slash my dash lib. All right. Description is optional. And the author, it enter to use this. It uses your local git configs or end to escape or enter your name and email address here. I hit the enter. Minimum stability. Must be empty or use one of these. I enter stable. And package type. You can choose one of these. I enter library. And you can choose a license for your package like Apache or MIT. Define your dependencies. Would you like to define your dependencies? Since our package is simple, I say no. Would you like to define your dev dependencies? No again. And PSR for auto log mapping maps this namespace to the entered relative path. It enter to use this and to escape or enter a path here. Actually, this will be the source folder for our library. I hit enter to use the default. All right, this is the result. And it asks us to confirm. Hit the enter. All right, done. Use this namespace and this path. And this is the auto load file. Okay. Now here we have SRC folder. It's for our library source code, vendor folder, an auto load file. It's generated by composer and composer.json. This is what we made a few seconds ago and we can edit it. All right, let's create our library. In the src folder, create new PHP file. This is ben.php. The name is important as it will be used for class name. Okay, here, open a PHP tag and define namespace. And for the namespace, go back to the composer.json in auto load psr4. This is the namespace for our source folder. Okay, copy it. And paste it here. And remove these trailing backslashes here and add a semicolon. And also remove this escape backslash here. All right. The namespace in the composer.json and the PHP files in the library must be the same, but in the composer.json, backslashes need to be escaped with another backslash because the backslash is a special character in JSON strings. And please note that this namespace is not related to this name and can be different from it. This is just a package name and will be used for installation. And the value here must match exactly with this. For example, if we have this value here, then we should have the same here. Or if we have this, we must have it here. 
and in composer.json it must end with two backslashes or it can be like this without any backslash and here it should be the same but it's better to have a backslash here All right, it's more standard. Now create a class. And for the class name, we must use the file name without the extension. This is Ben. Now here create our methods. Here I create a simple say hi function. Just return a hi with a random number between 0 and 1000. All right, our library is ready. Save all and now we need to publish it on GitHub. Open a new terminal and all right. Git init to initialize a new repository. And since we don't need the vendor folder in our package, create that git ignore file and add vendor to it. All right, save it. Now git add all files and git commit. Init. All right, now let's push it to GitHub. Go to github.com. Sign in. All right, create a new repository. Choose a name for it. My dash first dash PHP lib. This name is only for the repository and it's not related to the package name or any other elements. Description is optional. Make it public and leave these default. Okay. All right, here, push an existing repository. First add origin, then set branch to main and push it. Copy all. And paste it here. And hit enter. All right, refresh the page. And here is our repository. Now let's set a version for our package. To set a version, use git tag and the version number. I enter 0.1.0 for the first version. Then push this tag to GitHub. Git push origin and the version number. All right. And refresh the page again. And here in the tags, you can see the version. Now let's publish it on packages. Go to packages.org and create an account or sign in if you already have one. Or you can sign in using GitHub. Anyway, now go to the submit 
and here enter the repository URL. Go back to our repository on GitHub and copy its URL and paste it here and click on check. All right, found. And this is the package name. Now press submit to confirm. Okay, now our package is ready to use. And here you can see versions. Dev main or latest development version and 0.1.0. .0. Now anyone can install our package using this command. Composer require benixl slash my dash lib. All right, let's check it. I go to the home. And here, create a new Laravel project. Composer, create project, Laravel, slash Laravel, my dash app. All right, go to the project directory and open VS Code. All right, here is our Laravel project. Let's run it. Open a new terminal and run PHP artisan serve. All right, open it. A simple Laravel app. I want to use my library here. Go back to the VS Code. Now let's install our package here. Open a new terminal. Go back to the library page on packages.org and use this command. Anyone can use our package using this command. All right, done, installed. Now let's use it. I go to the roots, web roots, and I want to use it here. Define a variable, Ben, and new, this is Ben. Here it is, this is Ben. All right, it's added here. This is the namespace and this is the class name. You can also add it manually. And if your VS Code does not add it automatically, you can use this extension, PHP IntelliFence. Anyway. All right, now bind a variable to the welcome view. Hi. And use this pen and the say hi function. Here it is, say hi. All right, now go to the welcome view, resources, views, welcome.play.php. And use it here an h1 tag and make it white and the high variable all right save all Refresh the page. All right, here is our library working. And if you want to update it, just go to the source code of the library. And make the updates. Save it. Let me clear this terminal. 
and git add to stage all changes. Then git commit. Update say hi function. All right. Then push the changes to GitHub. Then set a new version for the update using git tag. This time 0.1.1. And push it to GitHub. All right. Now go back to the library page on packages. And here click on update. And also, you can set up a GitHub hook to enable auto update every time you push. Alright, here you can see the new version. And here you can see the new version and old version. And go back to the Laravel project. And here we can update the library. Just run composer update and the package name benixl slash my dash lib. All right, now you can see that it's updated from this version to this. And here, refresh the page, and you can see that it's updated. And the link to the source code of this library is in the caption.